we interrupt this program. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. Greetings, vinyl community, audiophiles, and musicians from around the world. Welcome to the Bob Bradley YouTube channel. Today, I want to have a very important discussion about the future of the electronic vacuum tube and its availability. As we all know, there is a war raging in Ukraine and a geopolitical crisis has unfolded in the region after a Russian invasion. The major tube factories are located in Russia. And without a clear end game in sight, the availability of vacuum tubes could be mm, questionable at best for quite some time. If you've been looking around on the internet, you will surely have found out that there are no tubes currently available. That said, Mike Matthews, owner of the Electroharmonics Company and the new sensor factory in Russia, has put up some literature on his website that explains quite possibly in April there will be some tubes available. Now, there will be heavy tariffs on these tubes, so they will cost more money. It's not great news, but it is a step towards having tubes available again. Tube technology is an old technology and reached its zenith in the 1950s and 60s, no pun intended. I have all tube playback equipment here and many tube guitar amplifiers. So it's very important that uh, I have tube availability. That said, don't panic buy. The tubes last a long time, uh, especially preamp tubes, which is what most of you will be dealing with. Yes, they can go microphonic, but in a... Um, in an audio hi-fi situation, your, your amplifiers are generally not sitting right over your speakers. So they don't get rattled as much and they won't go microphonic as often. Where in uh, guitar or tube amp combos where the speaker is right underneath the tubes, that's very common. Your preamp tubes are very tough and for the most part, somewhat military grade. So you don't have to sweat that too much. Generally speaking, when you have a failure of a tube, it's a power tube. So you should probably have at least a couple sets of tubes available, and that should be a long-term goal. And more than likely, those will get you through your entire lifetime of owning the gear. If you had, say, the, the set that's in there and, and a couple additional sets, you're probably gonna be fine. I've got amplifiers from the 1950s that still have their original tubes. Let's get into the existing tube manufacturing facilities. That you have the Sovtech factory. You have New Sensor in Russia. You have PS Vein that is in China. And then you had the Shanghai factory in China as well that caught on fire not long ago and they have been trying to get it online ever since. So it is currently not producing tubes. Here in the States, we have Western Electric. Now, Western Electric is currently only making one tube, the 300B. It's a very expensive tube. I believe it's $1,500 a pair. Now, Western Electric has recently put out a little survey. They asked people if they would like them to get into the production of more common tubes. And of course, we all filled that survey out and said, please do. Hopefully, Western Electric will come back with a reasonable price. Now, making tubes in the United States is not very easy because there are environmental restrictions that affect tube manufacture. Also, a lot of the know-how around making tubes over all these years has been lost to some degree. Now, there are people in the States that are making tubes by hand. Uh, there's some great videos on YouTube that show these guys who can who can just make a tube from scratch. These guys are artisans and it is a very complicated process. There could come a time when using the vacuum tube is not an ideal situation. That said, there's always the used market. There are plenty of tubes still out there. There are thousands and thousands, if not millions of tubes out on the used market. Some are new old stock, some claim to be new old stock, some are just used. That said, a lot of them are great tubes and sound wonderful. This tube right here is from the early 1960s. It is an OA3. I have a piece of gear on order right now that uses this strange tube. That's a hint. I will not reveal what that piece of gear is until it arrives, 
but that is a hint that of what it might be. Are vacuum tubes a necessity? Well, no. There are plenty of options in the audio world that don't require tubes. And with digital modeling and uh, pieces of gear that are relying on DSP technology with algorithms and things of this nature, class D amplification, tubes are becoming less and less of a necessity. That said, for the freaks, the fiends, the audiophiles, the obsessives, tubes are paramount and will always be around on some level. People like me believe that tubes are bigger, warmer, and just more pleasing to the ear than anything else. As a matter of fact, I live by the credo. No tubes, no tone. Well, the difference comes down to this. Um, the more fragile harmonics can survive in a vacuum tube where they seem to be uh, eliminated or squashed in a solid state crystal ass. And it just comes down to that. The physics of it, electrons can survive in a, a free space vacuum where they have trouble in a crystal lattice. And I think that's the best and simplest I can put it. Don't go out and spend hundreds of dollars trying to acquire tubes at this time. It's just not worth it. The tubes in your amp right now are fine. If you have a failure, yeah, you're probably going to have to get your wallet out and go in hard on some tubes right now. It's going to be difficult. That's we can only hope that the Russia-Ukraine situation resolves soon. I don't know how positive it can really be at this point. No war is better than war, obviously. This is a watershed moment where things are changing again, and we're probably never going to see tubes at you know, $15, $20 a piece again. Um, that said, when tubes do become available, you should probably try to develop a bit of a stash and, and don't go crazy. You don't have to hoard thousands of tubes or anything, but have a bit of a stock if you're into tube-driven equipment. It, it, it just makes sense uh, to have, you know, a few sets of tubes for, you know, your amplifiers. I have some other videos coming later this week, including a vinyl finds video, maybe even an additional video. That said, please like, subscribe, leave some comments down below, and until we meet again, that's right, folks. Bob out.